Hey everyone, Hrithik here from Clientrix CRM Consulting and welcome back to the another video. So in the last video, we have learned about how to do basic setup of organization in Zoho People. So in today's video, we're going to talk about how to provide roles and specific permissions inside Zoho People for your particular users. So let's get started. So right now we are into the homepage of Zoho People. So in order to provide roles and permissions for your particular users, we need to go to the settings so on the top right side. You will see this button settings. Simply click here and here under users access control. You can see roles and permissions. So first let's check out the roles. So what kind of roles uh, it offers. So basically these are some pre-made roles which Zoho people offers like admin, data admin, director, manager, team in charge, team member. You can also add your new roles or you can edit it as well if you want. Like for example, instead of team in charge, you want a role to be team lead. So click on done and it will be changed. And if you wanted to add a new role, you can simply create here called, for example, team manager. And here you can, you know, provide them the access of a team lead or something like that. So, a role has been created and here you can also configure their permissions like what kind of permissions you wanted to you know provide them so this is how the role is uh, you can define a role so once you have created a role then you can you know uh, go to the uh, organization under users and assign that particular role to the particular users for uh, inside zoho people so that is one for the role let's move to the permissions so as you can see uh, to all these roles we can configure their permissions like so for example if you wanted to you know configure the permissions of the director so let's simply click on this button configure permissions and here as you can see so a director level permissions so this is how the permissions look like so a director can view all the data and if you wanted to you know uh, provide them provide access to the director that uh, he can uh, edit the data so that uh, permission can also be done so for now, the, the the basic setting is like the director can only edit his data. But if you wanted to, you know, assign them more uh, uh, responsive authority. So for example, they can also report his data, report his plus my data on all data. So this is how the stages of uh, permission goes here. We can assign all data. Like the director can also the director can also edit and view all the data. So you can uh, assign the resp uh, response permissions according to your convenience. And here you can also assign the permissions for add or delete data. Uh, I cannot do that right now because there isn't any data into my Zoho people. But yeah, for your uh, company, you can simply assign these permission easily for the particular role. So that is how you do that. And same goes for other people also like managers, if you wanted to give them any permission. so. So you want, you know, manager can only see reportees plus reportees data or uh, any data which is under reports. You don't want to give them uh, permission to see all the data. So you can change it through here. So that's how you can, you know, assign, uh, create roles and assign uh, permissions according to the roles. So yeah, that's how easy it is. And once uh, you have uh, assigned the roles, proper roles and permission, then you can simply go to your organization, go into employees profiles. Here you can, you know, uh, for your users, if you had any user, then you can simply assign that particular roles and responsibility to your users. So yeah, that's how it goes. So for example, you wanted to, you know, assign that particular role to this user. So this is a sample data here. So for example, you know, you wanted to change its role from team member to director or team manager, or team manager. So that's how easily you can assign it. Simply, simply click on submit yeah the code has been updated so yeah that's how easily you can you know uh, create roles and permission in zoho people and then simply assign it to your employees in zoho people if you are looking for any tailored guidance in order to choose the right software solution for your business please do not hesitate to book a free consultation call with our team you will find link into the description and also please don't forget to like share and subscribe to this video and that's it for today and i will see you guys into the next video bye everyone